Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today it is Accent Day for the Toyota Tacoma, and one, I'm going to throw in a bonus, for the new Toyota Tundra, my new Toyota Tundra. So first of all, let me show you what I've got here. We've got a red emblem. This is for the Tundra, of course. This is going to make a huge difference on the front end. And then we've got some backing accents for the Black Horse Sport Bar. Going to show you how to put those on. Pretty cool, going with an orange theme and, of course, a red theme in the Tundra. Now, we've got one other thing that I'm going to do on the front of the Tacoma here. You'll have to stay tuned to see what that is. But looking at this bumper, I have to say, this is the second one I've done. And this came out, I think, about as perfect as you can as you can have it now I'm not looking to pat myself on the back but yeah I will uh, what I'm talking about is the cut the cut is key for this I've seen people cut it way too far way too forward this came out just perfect and what I used for spacing was just a razor blade um, there is a uh, an install video if you want to check that out and see the whole thing but if you look at the sides when I first got this bumper, I was concerned because there was a gap right here. And I thought this little ledge was supposed to be behind the bumper. But I discovered later on that's not true. It's not supposed to be behind the bumper, or the I should say the trim piece, the front fascia. Because if it was, it would push it out. Now, the way it's supposed to be, at least this is what I figure because it looks like it should be this way, it's kind of right around the edge of the weather stripping that you put on. This strip across the cut that you made. And it lines up, man, almost perfect. I think if this were just a hair in, and this was right at the edge like it is over here, uh, it would be perfect. But I'll tell you what, I don't know how you get any closer than what this is unless you get really, really lucky because there is no pattern the instructions are a little vague, and the biggest problem is trying to get this bend here. It's easy enough to go back three quarters of an inch all the way along the front, but when you get to about right here, and that's probably where you should mark where the bend starts, you kind of have to curve down to where the point is where this line joins up with the other line that would have been there on the trim piece or the front fascia piece. That's key, because once you get that, you just follow the body line all the way down. You really can't screw that up. That is the area that you mess up. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of do a quick little follow-up on that, because it did come out so darn well, and uh, I really love the way it looks. Now, let's get to the first little mod uh, on the front of the truck. This bumper is naked. It's naked because it doesn't have any D-rings. Well, I happen to have some D-rings. These are older uh, versions, I guess, and you can see because they're a little bit faded where the sun hit them on the other side. So I have to decide if I want to have, I, I think I will actually, I'm going to have the brighter side on the outside. And these did come with little clips here, unfortunately they're not black, but to keep the uh, bars from backing off. I don't know that I'm going to use these. Let's see. If there's a hole, there is, of course, the holes over here. So I don't think I'm going to use these at all. I'm going to go ahead and use my little uh, keychain things that I've used before because they're black, and I think it just looks better, a little bit better presentation. Now, I've also got some washers here. This is to keep the noise down a little bit, keep it from rattling around against the metal in the D-ring holder. So let's go ahead and get them on. Okay, real quick, these are the uh, key rings I was talking about. They're threaded on one end, and it's just a way to kind of keep everything stable and deter theft a little bit. I realize this isn't going to stop somebody from taking them if they really want them, but come on, they're just key rings. How bad could they really want them? I don't know. Okay, putting these things on, like I said, I'm going to going to go with the brighter side, the non-faded side, and I'm going to put, hopefully, a couple of washers. This is always a trick to kind of get these things on and get the pen in here, and see if you actually have enough space. So, 
Let's find out. I don't know. I don't think I can use, yeah, I can't use two big ones, but I can use one big one and one narrow one, uh, I think. Again, it's just to keep things from making a lot of noise, particularly for those out there who are really averse to noise. I know there are several folks out there who a little bit of noise drives you nuts. I respect that, so this is for you guys. If I'm driving by, you won't hear my truck making a bunch of noise, right? Obviously, you just screw it in. I mean, this isn't uh, complicated. That's it. Now, I will use a, a screwdriver just to kind of tighten them a little bit more. I don't want to go nuts because I might replace them with something a little shinier in the future. We'll see. Right, just something to kind of give it one more little bit quick tighten. Now, the key rings. This is a pretty, uh, pretty cool idea. This actually came from uh, Randall, and I think it's a great idea. So I have utilized it many times myself. Just kind of feed it through the hole, and then tighten it down. It can be a little cumbersome to get through. I think I'll just change the angle, all right? What's that saying? You have to work smarter, not harder, I think. Too bad for me. I think I tend to work harder sometimes than smarter. <clears throat> but you get the idea. Now I'll just connect it on the other end. And the good thing about these two, man, they are just long enough. These are actually, let's see, they don't have a length on them, but... I'll put a link down below if you guys want to check these things out. And you just kind of tighten them up like so. I may change the position, I don't know. I'd prefer to have this on the inside uh, over here, but to get the shinier part of the uh, D-ring itself. I guess I'd rather have it on the outside. And then just kind of feed it through a little bit to hide the, the chrome piece uh, behind the D-ring or right in the corner there. Again, it's just an aesthetic thing. You got to do it the way you like it. If the chrome doesn't bother you, you don't have to worry about it. But that's what it looks like on the truck. I'll go. All right, that was pretty simple. This next one is pretty simple as well. I've got the pieces there. If you're not familiar, they're going to be backing pieces right here uh, so that it accentuates, I guess, the Black Horse name um, and adds a little bit of orange to the truck. Pretty simple to do. Not going to go in depth on this. There are two screws behind each one that go through these holes. They're 10 millimeter uh, nuts on the end, so you simply put them on, tighten them down, not too tight, and you're done. All right, there's the finished product. That's what it looks like. Hopefully it's not too washed out by the bright light outside. Let's, uh, let's try the other side. Love the look of it. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, if you have to have a company name on your truck, why not accentuate it with something that goes with the theme of your truck? Um, pretty simple mod. Now, let's move on to the bonus mod. Um, what I'm doing with the front end of the Tundra, I know it isn't a Tacoma, but it's its big brother, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, time to put on the bonus accent piece, the Toyota Red Emblem. Let's go over and grab it. I'm going to try to do it one-handed. Should be pretty simple to do, I think. Hopefully it's dry. You see it just has these clips on the back. Uh, they just go into the holes on the truck, of course, and it should just snap right in. If not, I will double side tape it, but I'm thinking there's not going to be a, a need for that. And that's it. Check that out. I think it's pretty cool. 
Now, maybe it needs to have the inserts put in down there where it's embossed, says Tundra. I don't know. You guys leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Should I make this red as well or just leave it? It would be too much. And that's my concern. I don't want to have too much, you know. I think just having the red on the front and then we're going to do something on the tailgate as well. We'll kind of customize it enough up here. It's too bad, as far as I know, that you can't put any D-rings or anything down there because I think the separation of space would give us a pretty cool look with some D-rings down there. I'll have to look. Maybe someone has come up with something like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Those are the uh, color accents that I've added to the Tacoma and the Tundra. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.